This tutorial provides a comprehensive overview of the Layers feature in Rail Modeler Pro. Layers are like transparent sheets stacked on top of each other. A layer can hold tracks, scenery elements, annotations, baseboards, images, and more. By organizing your elements into separate layers, you can easily work on specific parts of your layout without affecting the rest. You can hide or show individual layers to focus on specific details or make changes without disrupting the overall design. Every layout in Rail Modeler Pro has at least one layer. When you create a new layout, the software automatically creates a default layer for you. If you're new to Rail Modeler Pro or prefer a simpler approach, you can simply use this default layer and ignore the layer list in the sidebar. All your elements will be added to this default layer automatically. Every layout has exactly one active layer at any time. This is the layer currently selected and highlighted in the layer list. Rail Modeler Pro automatically changes the active layer to match the common layer of selected elements when they all belong to the same layer. New elements are automatically inserted into the active layer. To move elements to another layer, select them, make the target layer active, then use the Assign Selection to Active Layer function in the Layer menu. Grouped elements can only be assigned to a layer as a complete unit. All elements within a group must belong to the same layer. For faster layer reassignment of individual elements, right-click on an element and use the Move to Layer function in the contextual menu of the element. To add a new layer, click the plus icon at the bottom of the layer list or use the New Layer command in the layer menu. In order to duplicate a layer, select it and use the Duplicate Layer command in the layer menu. This will copy the active layer along with all its elements. You can also copy a layer using standard Command-C keyboard shortcut when the layer list is active, or right-click on the layer and select copy from the contextual menu. You can paste the copy into the same or a different layout. Layers can be locked to prevent accidental editing. Click the padlock icon next to a layer in the layer list or use the layer menu. A locked layer is particularly useful for background elements, things like benchwork, scenery, or other elements that should always remain in the background. Elements in locked layers remain visible but can't be selected or modified. To hide a layer, click the eye icon next to the layer in the layer list or use the layer menu. This is useful when you want to focus on specific parts of your layout without the distraction of other elements. Similar to locked layers, elements in hidden layers cannot be edited, selected, moved, or changed in any way. The order of layers in the layer list controls how elements are painted in your layout. Each layer is painted from bottom to top meaning elements in layers at the bottom of the list will appear beneath elements in layers at the top. To change this order, simply drag layers to new positions in the layer list, or use the contextual menu to move layers up or down. Within a single layer, you can control the drawing order of individual elements using the to back and to front commands in the element menu or using the contextual menu of an element. Rail Modeler Pro offers several specialized layer types. To identify any layer's type, simply hover your mouse over its name in the layer list. Track layers hold tracks, accessories, and graphical elements. You can create new track layers as needed. The baseboard layer contains baseboards. Each layout has at most one baseboard layer created automatically when you add a baseboard. Image layers store imported images. Each image gets its own layer with a maximum of 10 image layers per layout. The toolbar automatically displays tools specific to the selected layer type. Finally, 
layers can have default values that are automatically applied to new elements. You can set a default height for tracks added to a layer. This is indicated by a small up arrow in the layer list. You can also set a default color for new elements added to a layer, which is shown as a colorized field in the layer list. A handy feature is the layer preview. Simply hover over the eye icon next to any layer to see its contents. Hold shift for a larger preview. Layers help organize complex layouts, allowing you to separate components and control visibility as projects grow. For additional details, use the search field in the help menu to find information about layers in the Rail Modeler Pro User Guide.